A co-management approach is being heralded as the way forward for the CI fishery. The Fisheries Division of Barbados, along with other stakeholders, has adopted this approach in an attempt to breathe new life into the CI fishery. Adaptive co-management is a relatively new concept, fusing together adaptive management, which is a dynamic learning process, and co-management, which is a partnership between the state, government, resource users, sea egg divers, and other stakeholders in a management approach working towards a common goal to manage a fishery that's in crisis. There have been efforts since um, the, the latter part of the 1990s to try and get stakeholders, fishermen, um, participants in the fishery, to work with government to make decisions in terms of management of the sea egg fishery. We now realize that top-down approaches to management isn't the way forward and the best thing is to engage the stakeholders at the bottom so that they could um, facilitate change. A lot of the approaches that are being discussed right now are very well aligned with and conducive to a long-term successful sea egg fishery. I mean one envisages an arrangement where the resources are surveyed each year by fishers or with the help of fishers, which is happening now. And the, the estimates are made of what is a reasonable amount to take for the year. And it's taken by serious uh, licensed sea egg fishers. Uh, and when that amount is taken, the fishery stops. So, and, uh, so that we have each year the maximum amount of, of, of sea egg coming out of the sea that, um, that the environment can, can produce for that year. And it's going to fluctuate from year to year, so it has to be that kind of a system. Every year we do a survey with the fisheries. We cut off an area and we have a, we have a quad. A quad is a, four, uh, a meter square. Four me a meter square. And we measure, we reckon the stakes that within that squatch. It's a formula that the fishers work out how to, how to measure, how to assess how much stakes in the area. They also measure the size of the stakes, the growth of the, the stakes. When I do the survey, I have to give a description uh, also uh, of the, um, the ground, what it looks like, the vegetation on the ground, if it's, a, if it's a gravel rock ground, if it's a ground that have um, a lot of moss, which, is, um, which we say brown algae. Why there's enough stakes there when there's good vegetation there? There's myself. I, and two more fellas is going with me to control the boat and help me check the survey. And then there are another boat from Oysteins that does go again. I, I normally does from Atlantic shores up to Foul Bay. Then he would do from Crane over to Ragged Point. And then they got some fellas in St. John would do from Ragged Point right over to Bashibo. And then I got some fellas from St. Lucino who do from Cove right away around to Maycock Bay. There's a particular site that I must focus upon and carry out that survey upon that every time. And that's how the fisheries depend on us to bring in this data to them. At the end of the surveys, we meet with the um, fishermen who were involved in conducting them and collectively decide on what is to happen that season. If for example, there is to be a season and get a good idea as from them um, as to the length of any season that, that should be allowed. So as such, they are definitely part of the uh, integral part of the management process. If you are going to get buy-in from stakeholders, they have to trust that they are participating in something that will benefit them and that they will not be disadvantaged. So yes, trust and mutual trust is important because a lot of the information, of course, that even government, the government side relies on, comes from stakeholders. And so we have to trust that information as well. So there has to be a huge deal of mutual trust. If the government takes heed of this novel approach to management and really start the all going and have learning and everything is dynamic and everybody's excited 
then maybe in a couple of years we could have some sea eggs on our plate and we must reinforce that adaptive co-management is a process we have to be patient and be committed to a long-term process